in digital space, you can be anyone, you can be anywhere, you can be anything. Working in interactive media, there's no reason that the content has to be stuck on the cell phone. I think it can pop off into the real world too. To be able to paint and sculpt things in 3D space, I was like, this is something magical. This is going to change the world. With augmented reality, it's great to be able to create a VR piece and import that and be able to show people in real life. They don't have to hop into a headset. My piece for the Festival of the Impossible is called Descent. You can bring things off the screen and into the real world, and you can really cause this sort of amazing effect in people where they don't realize how this is possible. It could be in a gallery or it could be on the street. So getting people experiencing something hands-on is important. My role as an artist is to try to put people away from their daily reality. Because these experiences are spatial and they're interactive, it totally changes the grammar of the previous art forms. So we need to discover a new grammar. I think what this will do is allow more creators to jump in to help define what this creative space might be. As a woman, as a person of color, like there's certain opportunities that I'm allowed in a new space that I might not be allowed in a different space. Everyone will be experimenting and trying different things. I think that's the exciting part. Now we have all these new technologies to get out of the screen and bring those experiences into physical spaces as well. When I first did that, it was like an epiphany. It just became a lot of fun to push the boundaries of what is possible. I think there's a lot of possibilities with interactivity we haven't even touched yet. It's about experimentation, it's about creativity, pushing yourself to do something different.